What is up, good people? Today we're gonna have another Rift battle post 4.2 update where the AI has gone crazy and we're against. Oh, I think I recognize this player. If I'm not wrong, he or she is the one that has multiple misfortunes at Diamond. Yeah, and that's gonna be troublesome because potentially I could be facing multiple scratching pose nodes with the increased AI so on top of that they they kind of have some pretty good solid diamonds emerald fiber armed forces oh this one is quite invested as well and that's oops, sorry apologies and there's resonant evil I saw hmm anyway while I look through these um, fighters, um, remember that the first video that I uploaded where I fought against the guy with the emoticons as, as his name, I think it's like, it starts with like 0-0 zero, zero or something, so I actually faced him again that afternoon, but this time I managed to clear his base first try, um, I died twice against his plot twisted, which I did not die in the first attempt. But his boss node, the one with uh, big bands, I cleared it with Cerebella Harley Quinn. Yeah. So might might start using Cerebella more for big bands, even though it's kind of slow. But I'm not convinced Persol with her pretty um, meh intercept and big bands character ability. I don't think she is equipped as well. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Oh, look at those diamonds. Somersault, flytrap, freeze frame, overclock. And I'm still working on my fourth one. Ah, I was right. Scratching pose, super slow mo, lightweight. Now, this is going to be difficult because you can't intercept, you can't stun them. And yeah, I just don't know. Frost armor. Oof. Overclock and biofeedback. Interesting. I've never seen that before. First an evil dark knight. Okay, this one is the delicious food. Easy. Last words. Now this is hmm. Now the scratching post. And ah, uh, scratching post frost armor. Just a block busted. Just a don't poke the beer. And scratching post super slow mo. Right, so aside from the scratching post nodes, his single nodes are quite easy actually. It's not too difficult. His double nodes are a bit more mm, like it's not difficult, but things can go wrong. So just have to play it safe. Just gonna go with the easy one first. Dark Knight, Resident Evil, Doublelicious, let's go. And we're just hoping that we don't get stunned on the first hit or something like that. It will be ridiculous, but it is possible. Make sure my moves are set. Uh, yep, nope. Resonant Evil. And it's a soloist as well, I remember. So it's meant... He or she meant to put in a single node. I only don't like Resident Evil in single nodes. I think there's quite a lot of counters to it. Even if you just use Cerebella and use the... What's that special move for Cerebella that like breaks armor? Like that's done. And just... Because even... It's still a silver stat. He has, still has silver stats so like even using like one hits that with Cerebella stats like it will kill. It's not like heavy metal. Doublet is just perfect food for Dark Knight. Those five armors. Okay, nice, that kills it. Yeah, as I was saying, those, those five armors, once you get those, you're just basically invisible. You can even take a hit just to fill up your meter gain for a blockbuster finish. But in here, I unluckily got an armor break from the catalyst, not catalyst, but like from the node modifier. 
So, oh well, that was unlucky. Now, yeah, let's just finish this armed forces first. Hmm. Frost armor. So I could use Toad there. Or for block busted. I think I'm just gonna use Harlequin. Maybe heavy handed actually. Heavy handed is still not I'm still working on it. I don't know if it's 17k attack. I don't know if that's enough. 18 actually. I don't know if that's enough because the armed forces was quite invested. So I might just use Harley Quinn instead. My strategy is basically using a lot of single attack moves. So Mary Gorilla, Battle Butt to get rid of the armor. Mary Gorilla is pretty much a staple against other Cerebellas because it allows you to grab faster without having to like wait for an opening. Really, really good special moves. And yeah, let's just go with Diamond Drop and Diamond Sand Forever, yeah. So my strategy is to like hit hard, one hits, and hope that his, her armor doesn't proc, because then flinching is gonna be annoying. Oh, nice! Oh, that th oh shoot! Thought that would hit. Okay, so this is dealing more damage than I thought. Oh, that was easy. I really thought the armed force would be a bit more bulky. But maybe my piercing... I don't actually remember how much piercing I have. But yeah, Harley Quinn. Super good unit. See? I could I could do that because of her signature ability that reduces cooldown of special moves by 50%, I think. So super strong. And Cerebell has pretty good special moves as well, so I can spam it as much as I want. Now, I was thinking of using Toad, but because of the bleed, I think I am going to use Poltergust instead, because I can use Taunt to get rid of the bleed. I've used Toad in this node before, and the bleed did really suck my HP a lot. So I, did, I wasn't getting a lot of um, HP bonus from it. And Squiggly has less HP than, I think, than Toad. Or at least my Poltergust, her moveset. So she has, like, almost barely any HP. While my Toad moveset do have some HP. So the bleed will reduce more of my battle, HP battle points. So I think it's a good choice for me to use uh, Squiggly here. And this may be the f no, not the first time. Maybe the second time I've seen an, a, a diamond understudy. Bronze stat, so should be fairly easy to kill. Yeah, let's just go with it. I can remember the philia. I don't think it was that invested. Philia, I mean, Philia at defense doesn't really do much unless you're Jin, and even then, it's like RNG and it's more like a minor annoyance, really. No, not Jin. Dreadlocks. That's the best defense one. Oh God damn it! The problem with squiggly and taunts is that the timing is really difficult because you need to use taunt and then you need to charge. There's just a lot of things to consider. Okay, this shouldn't be hard. And this should kill it. Nice. Okay, that was clean. Idle threat. Always wanted one. I actually have a craving, not a craving, but like, quite like Philia's playstyle of just inflicting bleeds. 
but I'm using Windswept right now, so once that's done, I might invest in another one. I mean, another Philia. Anyway, um, I don't know what to do with Overclock, honestly. I'm just gonna use, yeah, I'm just gonna clear the single nose first. Fly trap, single note, don't poke the beer, beware, or something like that. My immediate thought is Bio Exorcist. She can drain it, HP, she can heal, she has meter control from her blockbuster. Multi hit. The crit is a problem. Well, not really. I mean, I hope I don't proc that much armor. I only have 29% of crit rate. But yeah. Bio Exorcist, super super good unit, definitely a high priority. Pain Wheel is really scary to fight because it hits super hard if you fail. I'm just gonna go with the full combo right now, I don't care if I didn't, don't do enough damage. I just wanna like, inflict that wither. Okay good, it did. Sometimes the, inf the wither doesn't come up, and that's where you're in trouble, basically. Because a BB3 from Flytrap, that's pretty much a KO. Okay, nice. So I was able to do that because it was using special moves, so... Hey, more aggressive AI kind of worked out for me in the hair. Bulk Stinger though, I think it's a pretty good special move for Pain Wheel in Rift because it, it it's multi hit. It's not just a single hit. So if you're in like a transducer node or something, and you're I don't know using Neuromancer, that fills up your meter so fast that you're you're immediately placing your opponent in a danger zone. God, I want Pain Wheels. I only have two at Diamond. But I want another one. Okay, I think I'm just gonna clear this with Valentine. I want to. I was thinking of using Silent Kill, another um, fighter that was occasionally used in biofeedback. But I want to save Silent Kill for like maybe one of the scratching post nodes in case I fail. So Assassin's Creed is my next go to choice. Super good diamond. My first one actually. Back when I barely had no clue on how the game works. But yeah, so she's invested mainly in defense. Because she's in one of my single nodes. Um, I think... I, I, don't, I don't think I invested a lot in her attack. Maybe very little. I think this is just her diamond stats kicking in. Okay, that's easy. Now this overclock is super annoying. Because you have to keep hitting it to prevent the barrier in position. It just gives unblockable. But at the same time, her AI just keeps on doing that. I'm hoping I can clear this. Ah, oh, goddammit. Against another barrier. Okay, that's annoying. 2%. Got a barrier at the last second. I'm a bit scared. I don't know what to do. I need to keep. I need to hit. I ah, got them. Oh no. Okay. See, that was terrifying. I don't think the overclock was that invested. But if it was, I could have been in trouble. Overclock is a really solid defense unit. Just because Robo AI is quite a pain to deal with, and you need to learn how to intercept against Robo Fortune to actually like effectively counter it. I don't know how to do that yet. So it's one of my weak points. Let's just say. Okay, I think I'm gonna attempt the scratching post node. One of them at least. Frost armor with Surgeon General in the back. So I'm thinking of using Shadow Ops in here. And then saving the Somersault for the lightweight in the boss nodes. 
Summer uh, Shadow Ops doesn't really have any high attack, and I'm facing just Skitten, which has bronze stats, so I think it should be okay. Putting Buskill in the back just as a backup. Uh, yeah, I think this should be fine. So my strategy is simply move back, use Eggert Dive, get that stun, and use Taunt Immunity, whatever, and set up. And then push, just get into the back. Actually, Shadow Apps having low attack actually benefits me here, because like I don't get that much damage from Frost Armor Armor's Reflect. So there's that. Okay, setting up the immune and oof, that's a lot of oof. I'm just gonna outtake. Yep. Now H and S is actually a problem here. Oh god damn it! I really need to kill it really fast. It was quite tough. Ah, frick. So that was a mistake. I should have used Siren Scope. Okay, that kills it. Nice. Good job, plus kill. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, Grudge Proc. Ouch, ouch. Yeah, if I was using Rusty right now, that would have been so good. Oh, I dodged it just in time. That was super lucky. Okay, just Surgeon General. This should be easy. I actually thought I would have lost this battle, to be honest. But now I have a hope. Ah, oh, damn it. Please kill, please kill. God damn it. That's a lot of armor. Nice. Ooh, that's good. Okay, so my Shadow Ops died, which wasn't ideal, but eh, you know. I think that was still a pretty decent score. Okay, so next time I should know. Beware of blockbusters. Should have been paying more attention. You be, I think, given the AI's aggressiveness, we also have to be quite aggressive. I think that's the key here. So I was thinking of using shelter for this, but I'm quite scared after what happened. So I think I might just use my own misfortune. This is actually what I used to do when I was back in gold. Gold 2 or something like that. My misfortune is, you know, in forever is quite invested as well in HP and defense, so should survive a hit. Anyway, the strategy is really simple. Just move back and intercept as much as possible. Ah, damn it. Oh, nice. Okay, this is a good idea. Okay, guys, yeah. Shelter, not using shelter was a good idea. Look at how much damage that did. And I'm still in full HP. Oh damn. Oh shoot. That did so little. Ah god, nah. All right, that was clean. Okay, I'm gonna start using mail forever more often now. That was clean. Oh, such a good score. If I was using shelter, I wouldn't have been that successful. My bronze stats would have killed me. there's definitely merit in, in investing in both attack and defense for your fighters okay you know what let's just I'm using somersault for this one I don't really have a strategy but I know that oh I, I don't really have any other choice I need to remove that flinching or at least stall enough so that 
it's gone. Somersault is one way to remove that flitching. And if I fail, well, I'll just have to figure out a way to stall it. Egret Dive can't really do anything since it has immunity. Honestly, with the, how the AI works, I think unflinching is going to be super, super good right now. Ah, screw it. You know what? Let's just go with it. I think it should be fine. No, I'm really scared. Okay, my tactic is try to grab as fast as possible. Because when you attack first, the AI usually blocks. Sometimes this, this works, sometimes it doesn't. Hoping it works this time. Okay, nice. Yeah. Setting up my taunts. I'll take that. I oh, got damn it. I was hoping Windstalker could come so I can have like okay, I can intercept it and stuff. Okay, this is dangerous. I'm kinda scared. Okay, that's one down. But that's the weakest. Ooh. Nice. Please don't die. Ah, god damn it. Ooh, that was lucky. Okay, please die, please die, please die. What? That didn't kill it. Okay, you know what? Yeah. I just want to finish the game. Like, I don't even care about Blockbuster finish for that one. Because I was so close to dying. You know, that's a, that's a pretty decent, pretty good score, I say. The fact that I almost got killed. Whew. I think the key is when it when the opponent guard breaks, you just, like... Use normal attacks, because that worked for me a couple of times there. Well, ex except if they have unflinching, of course, that doesn't do anything. But like, yeah, once after you, after they guard break, I think you just quickly attack and some I think it works. Anyway, I'm stuck in the connecting page, so I'm going to edit this out. Right. Back at the game. Okay. So we're almost there. Two more nodes. The last scratching post node. It has immoral fiber, which scares the hell out of me. Okay, I think I'm just gonna use primed. And I don't know. Maybe we can position hit the immoral fiber. Nah, I think I'm just gonna bring Dragon Brawl actually. S similar strategy. Move back, Egret Dive, setting up Taunt. Set up my combos and hopefully end with a Blockbuster and kill it. And then I'll just tag in with Dragon Brawler to finish the Immoral Fiber. Hmm. The last battle makes me think, I need another support valentine that has final stand. I might have... Hmm, thinking graveyard shift. She does have that heavy re regen once you kill a fighter, like an enemy opponent. So she does do like quite a decent support. But I need so much coins right now. Okay, let's go. Oh shoot, that didn't work. It was. Th uh, damn. This perfect dark is smart. It didn't attack. Nice. Please die. God damn it, my immunity was gone. <sighs> oh. Still got affected. 
No. Ouch, that hurts a lot. Ooh, that was lucky. Okay. Okay, so I really have a good chance here, because, like, Dragon Brawler is a pretty good counter to Immortal Fiber. On-demand position hits is really strong, just to make sure that I get my Blockbuster and position hit at the same time. Actually, no, I don't need a Blockbuster. Nice, okay. Yes, guys, so if you haven't watched my Dragon Brawler video, go check it out. It's a fire showcase, my second video on that. He's a pretty de decent fire to have. Okay, so that wasn't optimal. I definitely could have done better. I think the immunity and the slow-mo really got to me, which is unfortunate. <sighs> Okay, just one last node, we've cleared the hurdles, the difficult ones, and now it's just last words. Now think, come to think of it, I did not get a chance to use, sound, to use sound kill at all, thought I would, but oh well, I guess I'll just use her here. Mm. Where, where is she? Yeah. Silent Kill is one of the best fighters to invest in, so highly, highly, highly recommend it. I'm actually gonna make a, a video of her soon. I've already made the thumbnail, I just need to collect the footage, so get ready for that. Anyway, this should be a piece of cake, hopefully. Playing Valentine, it's really easy, you just chain as much blockbusters and special moves as you can. Just use L1 till L5, I think is that that is. Anyway, just don't use the launcher. And there you go. Killed in one string of combos. I always hate squiggly AI because it knows how to guard really well. Necro Baker. I don't actually remember what her skill is. I think it has something to do with revive or final stat or something. I, so I don't think it's anything worth noting. Oh, oh, the burst though. Got them. Oh no. Ooh, lucky, lucky. Oh, that was so lucky. Nice, we cleared it. Okay, that's a really good score. I'm happy with that. So our final score is... Wait for it. 22.6. That's actually pretty good. I am really, really happy with that. I thought I was gonna, gonna get much worse. So I think that's a rift success. Like it's not 23k, but hey, it's post 4.2, and we're dealing with four scratchy nodes. Oh god. Let's see how my opponent did. Okay, okay. So he hasn't cleared. Oh, oh okay. Mm. Lost against one of my node, so I think that is well. It's good for me because I think maybe I win. I don't know. I don't. I don't actually know how good of a player he or she is, but I guess we'll just have to wait for the results. Okay, guys, my rift is done, so let's check this out and see how well I did and whether it's enough. Oh. Well, I think 22.6 should be enough, but you never know, you know? Oh, nice! Ooh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's... okay. Good game to... I think... I don't know what to call them. Neko, I think? But anyway, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you some other time. And yeah, good game!